So earlier this week, uh, a tiny portion apparently of the GTA 5 source code was leaked. And I made a video on that. We covered it a little bit in that source code that was leaked. We got to see quite a bit of cut content, specifically the cops and crooks cut content. We got to see pretty much all of the, I think it was 14 police cars that Rockstar had planned. That was cut. Also a bunch of police outfits. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link at the top right. But it was an interesting look at the, the mode we honestly probably won't see again. And in this video, we actually have more, more details. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Cut Cops and Crooks Territories feature. So if you want to see what GTA Online would have looked like if it was completely different, well, then this is the video for you. So this was the tweet from Wildbrick. I believe this is all coming from the leaked source code. He says, as it turns out, the 2012 era Cops and Crooks gang territory outline still exist in the game, at least on PC. It says there's 41 territories and a lot were seen in a dev portfolio uh, are missing, but it is something. So there was apparently more than 41 territories, which would make sense. I mean, if those are across the whole map, but we actually have the picture there. And uh, taking a look at that picture, I guess this is just mainly down in the city. This is what the GTA Online map would have looked like if they went with this original vision of cops versus crooks. Now, I'm assuming blue probably, I'd imagine that's for the cops. Like the cops, they own all of these territories. And honestly, I think this was such a cool concept for GTA Online. Of course, this was all stemming from the uh, San Andreas territories. They were sort of building on that system, but of course, making it multiplayer instead of just single player. But this is what GTA Online would have looked like. You would have had these territories scattered across the map that you would have had a battle over. We have more info, though. Uh, here's another tweet. He says this, the territories supported up to three owners, apparently, and the gang or the game would cycle between the gang color of each territory owner. Although he says he wasn't sure if the multiple owners was like an actual thing, the actual feature, or if it was just something they were like testing. But we actually have a little video clip. This is what the map would have looked like. I guess if there was multiple owners, it would have shifted between the different colors. You can see there was actually three different sort of factions, I guess. The blue presumably is the cops, the orange, the gangs, the Vagos, I think it was. And then the little pinkish, I think that was like neutral. But this is what GTA Online's Cops and Crooks looked like. And in case anyone hasn't ever seen these pictures, I want to bring back. These are some very old pictures, I think from like 2011. This is in the early like alpha testing of GTA Online. This was one of the pictures that again is showing what it would have looked like. And you can see there's a lot more territories on that little map. Almost like each individual block was its own territory. And you can see there was the cop territory, the Vagos territory. I guess there was four different uh, factions here, the biker territory, and then the neutral territory. I guess neutral is not really a faction, but that is what we had. We had the cops, the Vagos, the bikers, and the neutral. And again, everyone was sort of was supposed to battle out to sort of get these different territories. Now, I don't know if we ever really have figured out like what the purpose was like did you get bonuses for it you know i don't know if they were that in depth with the testing before they scrapped it but here's some other pictures here's what like one of the vagos members looked like if you were a vago member and then we also have if you were a cop this is what uh, this looked like now i will say I, I know maybe some people are hopeful we might see this sort of stuff return in gta line but honestly i, I just think that's not going to happen. Like maybe GTA six, they could figure out the territory system, but I doubt we're going to get something just because it's such a different gameplay from what we have now. I mean, this is basically a replacement free mode. And unless they gave you an option to like play in a different type of free mode environment, I just, it's not going to happen at most. What they'll do is probably bring back some of those police cars that they were cut and the, like, maybe the outfits, but uh, we're, I don't think we're ever gonna get the territory system here. It's just, it's kind of cool to see what the game would have looked like. Like this is just a totally different version of GTA Online. And I'd be curious to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments. I mean, obviously like, I don't know if you could really judge like what we're seeing here versus what we have now. I think there's just too little of what we know about the cut cops and crooks stuff, but 
Man, it would have been cool to have territories in the game. I mean, think about this. The, all the wars that, you know, the alien, the purple versus green alien war. We had the Sprunk versus E. Cola. Imagine that, but is like the base game. And each time, you know, your sort of crew, your sort of faction one and you know on a battle in a particular area you own that particular territory like that just sounds really fun so it kind of sucks i guess to see like what gt line could have been but yeah i don't know i thought this was pretty interesting so i thought i'd share anyway thank you guys for watching that's gonna do it for today's video if anyone was wondering uh look the roster logics will probably come back whenever the next dlc comes out there's just not a whole bunch going on in gt online at the moment but anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Please drop it a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA content. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one.